so we're finally doing the Q&A with Old Man Tom. A while back on our Facebook fan page, we had you vote who you wanted to see a Q&A of, and Tom won. How did I win? Uh, I think it's because it was during the Five was, and Five beer fiasco. Was, but it was also before the Five McDonald's cheeseburger. Yes. Posted. But they said you were... that's why I was riding high on my... They said you were the most hated. That's which, good. officially, that's not really the case anymore. I, I think be, I'm, I'm officially the most hated again. John Cena of reckless eating. People love you Justin. again, and they love Justin again. I think right now I'm the one that they hate the most. What have I done that they, they love me? I, know, I take I take vegetables off of things. That's true. And that's just, like, that's, no bueno. That's number one. You don't you don't alter the, also, the stuff you're reviewing. Also, bro. we sucked, and we couldn't we couldn't defeat the fifth highest ranked competitive eater on the planet. Fourth. In a, no, oh, is he fourth? Fourth some of the, highest some of the comments said fourth. I'm going to go by no, the No, Jeff said. said he's not sure. He said he could be between three and five. But they're unofficially, they don't say four. Out. That's a good middle. Yeah, so we couldn't we couldn't dominate the little Asian little, guy. Yeah. Stoney's a beast, God damn it. All right. He's a competitive eater. Come on. Okay, so we're, we had just, I took not all of them. There was like over two or 300 questions. So I just took. I'm sure at least 150 of those. Why you're such a bitch. Some of them, well, They're some of them are in here. <laughs> some of them are serious. Uh, I only took down a few. And uh, my thing is that we're going to be doing this with other cast members. So uh, the first thing we got here, we're going to start it off with. Uh, let's do this one right here. Uh, favorite melee weapon from DT3140. He didn't say from video game. He just said favorite melee weapon. Uh, so apparently, in everyday life, you <laughs> need a melee weapon. My favorite everyday life melee weapon. Yeah. Like. I think it's my. It's the monopod that we have. That's a great. Do, I have, the do I have to pick something we're in possession of, or can I just have? Yeah, just. I mean, it's your favorite. He didn't say specifically. I mean, personally, I've always loved like the badass of the ball and chain. Like you get the. the Ball it's intimidating. Cane, you get the mace, start spinning it around. Like it's that. risky, too, because you but might hit yourself. if you try and do it on chivalry, you get your ass kicked. That one sucks in yeah, chivalry. No, it's but, yeah, personally, I'd say that. That's probably my favorite melee weapon. All right, the next one's from Lee Brown. Is is there a point in challenges when you pussy out? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll have fun. No, <laughs> you, you seem to think that we volunteer for this shit. No. Half the time, we show up, and Matt's like, we're doing this, this, and this. <laughs> There's no choice. I don't get to choose to be in this crap. So, yeah, I'll be a pussy if I don't want to do it. You got to choose the yeah. McDonald's one, though. I did. That was my bad. I choked. Literally. I like but that, they that was my bad. They don't understand about choking. Yeah. Like, okay, on the Wendy's, uh, Wendy's uh, T-Rex challenge, right? Uh, myself, I don't know about Jeff, but I know me and Chris were having problems swallowing it. And yeah. I know we should have used more That's, liquid. If I had done that on the McDonald's challenge, yes. I think I could have done it. We should have used more liquid. But when you start having that feeling of choking, it's like lodged it's, here. Yeah, you, you just start going like, I don't want to eat anymore, I want to live. Yeah. Well, the competitive eater guys like Stoney they push and Matter, they push through it That's... and they train themselves not to worry about it. Yeah. So, But like, I'm a normal person, yeah, you're a normal I can't person. So it's like, yeah, on the challenge issue, like, if I don't want to do the challenge, I will put forth minimal effort and I will bitch <laughs> out if that's how I choose. Because I didn't have a choice to be in it. So, sorry. You know, no. you guys are just pussies and you can't you know, beat the fourth right, highest rank. At, at least leader. one of the people in the challenge will be trying so you can pull for them. Everyone needs a heal. Like, that's fine. In that McDonald's challenge, you guys, I made Chris look like a fucking beast. I made him look amazing. Every great movie that's ever been made has a bad guy and a good guy. Yeah, so I'll be the bad guy. I'm fine with that. Right, next one is from uh, EDE Head 357 Least favorite food drink challenge you've ever taken part in? Least favorite? It was one I actually won, too. It's yeah, easily yeah, the Tabasco yeah. challenge. Oh, yeah. The Good chugging job. two bottles of Tabasco. Mm -hmm. There, I didn't bitch out on that one, but that was before we were really big. So no, half nobody you remembers probably, it. Half you haven't even seen that one. No. But that was easily... I actually won that one. I was the only one to win yeah, that one. Rebel and Rebel I was in agony for, like, was, three days. It was a bad poop. That was, it was a really awful. bad poop. So, Tabasco chug challenge, check it out. You know, that was one where I wasn't a bitch, so... Yeah, that's and, a few, <laughs> few and far between. <clears throat> this one's a pretty random question. Uh, from Mystic Spoon Attack, which is one of our longtime fans. Yeah, it sounds familiar. Uh, Borderlands or Borderlands 2 or Minecraft. I'm assuming your favorite game. Yeah. Or are you just listing yeah, games which, that we play? Which of the three are your um, favorite? But like, what a random three come like a sequel to well, the original yeah, and Minecraft. And then Minecraft. Yeah. Well, best game of those three, technically, I, I like Borderlands 2. But I think game I had the most fun with was the first Borderlands because that was so when that, well, that was when you and Rebel were in the house, and I remember when we first got it, we were played split screen for the whole freaking night. Like, yeah. We played the first game like all night long. That's right, we played on Xbox. So yeah, it was on Xbox. So mm -hmm. game I had the most fun with Borderlands, but I like Borderlands too. Yeah, I wish we could do Spelunky. Yeah. 
yeah. together in, co in local. You could if you could figure out a way to film it. We yeah. just I think you can do up to four people. Just figure it out. I played, I played the uh, multiplayer and it's insane. Yeah. It's, f it's not even fun. It's so f hard and impossible and quick and just death. It's not fun. All right, next one is from Tony Ramos and it's uh, what is your dream job if you could pick any job. Dream job? Yeah. Say someone's like, here's an unlimited money source, and what do you want to do? Uh, dream job would be a trust fund baby. I don't have to work. I have tons of money, and I get to just. Not a job. I just get to be a douchebag. That's all day. luck. That's not that a job. Uh, dream job. Trust fund baby. I was gonna say questionable gamers is a dream job. That like reckless eating is pretty awesome, but playing that's video games. That's borderline trust fund baby. But, but yeah, if I can get paid to play video games all day. That would be my. Dream that would be pretty awesome. Yeah. yeah. All right, the next one's from Buck and Five. Uh, guilty pleasure TV show or film? So any TV show or films that you're kind of embarrassed to admit that you like, but it's a guilty pleasure. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say, I was the same say thing. that's probably as guilty pleasure as it gets. Usually, you won't admit that to a random yeah, stranger. that's probably as bad as it gets. He is just agile. All right, this one's from uh, Lefty Cordy One Two Three. Why are you so cold, Tom? Cold as ice. Why am I so cold? Because like, of cold man Tom. That's what he's getting at. It was a, it was a play on words. Could be. I'm, it was a random thing I'm, I just grabbed. I'm pretty cynical, too. So, I mean, I guess that's... Um, <laughs> we, we both are. Sure. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Dark sense of humor. Next up, this is... Uh, uh, in one at duels. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, uh, where did you get the name Old Man Tom? From you. Because you're a jerk. No, yeah, because we would well, come in the old okay. days and you'd be an asshole. Yeah, I would come in and be an asshole, or you guys would be having a party and I had to go to work the next day, so I'd come and shut the lights out. I did that once. Remember, oh, that was like, that wasn't the power. I was with you on that. Yeah, no. That was, that was being Rebel and everybody else. You, you and me wanted me to go that. to bed. Yeah. It was like but, 2 or 3 in the morning. It was time to go to bed. <laughs> he is busy. He's busy. Guy. He's busy. That guy. Okay. I don't know, can you... Oh, you can see him on there. See him. He's bit. here to show his tail. He's here <laughs> no, to show his tail. Basically, like, I would come in and I'd come home from work after working all fucking day. And Matt would be in the kitchen in the bathroom he was in when I left that morning. And I would be like, get a job. And he's like, no, you old man. Yeah. So, really, I'm an old man because I'm responsible and I have a real job. You're the only one that has a gimmick name from the show. That's fine. All the, all the rest of us took... No, I, I mean, that's a... That's I would thing. rather have a gimmick name from the show than be Death Toll. Who wants to be Death Toll? Nobody wants. No, it's just a stupid name. All right, uh, I don't know if you can answer this one or not. This is from Brutal Video Vault, and it's what are your PC specs? I don't even know what the hell my PC specs are. So it's from Chris Dragon. Yeah, it's Chris Dragon. He renamed his channel that, I think. Yeah. Well, because he's doing Brutal Doom. Mm -hmm. I, I follow you a little bit. A little bit. Uh, what was it? PC specs? Yeah, PC specs. Uh, well, for years, I had bought computers off of Newegg, which were decent, but like after about a year, a little over a year, they would crap out. So finally, I'm like, hey, work's going good. I got a lot of money. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna overpay, but I'm gonna get something that lasts. So I have an Alienware Aurora PC. It looks amazing. Uh, it's not as big as mine, but it's more flashier. Yeah, I, it's it's two years old now, but what is it? It's i7. I only got the eight gigs of RAM because I'm a cheapskate. Yeah. Uh, I don't have a solid state drive, but I have a pretty decent hard drive. Uh, GTX 550 Ti card, which is a lot dated. That's the first thing I'm gonna replace. Um, but are you, gonna, are you gonna do that? Just replace parts yeah. instead of because I mean it's it's liquid cooled. It's it's great. Like it's I've had it for two years without any issues. And so it's the longest That's PC good. I've had. Yeah, I, I know I way overpaid. You don't have to tell me below. <laughs> oh, it's such a rip off. Build it yourself. They will. I know. <laughs> I've built my own computers and I've bought the cheap ones and they all crap out eventually. So. Next time I'll probably have Jeff Hu build it because he got you an amazing deal. He did. But, it started costing way more than we predicted, yeah. though. But it was but, it's awesome. You know, I, I overspent, but I got something that's still running strong two years later, and I can't complain. So that's that's my specs. All right. And uh, next one's from Eris Head, favorite wrestler of all time. All time. I think most people say the same thing. I I mean I'd say like Shawn Michaels. Yeah, that's my two all time favorite. Mm -hmm. But I mean, there's so many. So many like independent guys that like I love at the moment, things like that. Like guys like Pac, El Generico, right here, Kevin Steen. Who's it? Oh, you mean Sami Zayn? Sami Zayn. Yes. Yeah. No, I like El Generico. I haven't that Sami Zayn guy. I like Chris Hero. I don't know who Cassius Ono is, you know. Oh, no. But yeah, all, all time favorite Shawn Michaels. Uh, yeah. Stone Cold is up there. I like Bret Hart, but I only like Bret Hart because he was feeling with Stone Cold and Shawn Michaels. So. And Undertaker once he just started doing WrestleMania. Uh, I don't. I love uh, now Taker always has love, the WrestleMania match. So I love like, I love WrestleMania Taker, but like I wouldn't say he's all time favorite. Yeah, because he wasn't when he was active. He wasn't one of my favorites. Yeah. I liked him, but once he became like WrestleMania Taker, I liked and he's uh, just Triple H up until about two thousand three. 
as yeah, well. Like he's... DX Triple H and like fun loving Triple H. I liked him so. All right, and uh, this is from Pello versus Pello, another one of our longtime viewers. Uh, what are you currently reading? What am I currently? I think that was a good question. For you <laughs> you, you question. read more than all of the other guys combined when you take. That is a good question. I do. I take a lot of poops. I just finished the last uh, Game of Thrones book that's available, so I'm waiting on the final one to come out. I'm counting down. Yeah. That's good. Uh, Walking Dead, the graphic novels. I'm reading those, and uh, pretty much any kind of like zombie books. I'm yeah, I'm halfway zombie. Like, through the Governor, the first Governor book. The Governor book was really good. I read the second one. Um, Dead City. Was a good book. I, I need to finish. I don't know if you ever read that no, one. No, I need to finish that one because you said that that one. Like, the sequel the, of that the one next was one better, got better though. Yeah. Because it, it was like it was just such a grander scale. But yeah, those kind of books. You know, Game of Thrones is my current favorite book right now. All right. And uh, someone random two five five six five asks, "Will you regrow your handlebar mustache?" Maybe. <laughs> you never I know. I liked it. I could be working on it right now. You never know. This is what I did last time. I grew my you beard out and then I got bored and I got rid of it and kept the mustache. So <laughs> I might. I wouldn't be opposed. I would if I could. Why don't you just give up and go for it? Oh, I did. I tried. Uh, what I, if you just let? I got to the point of super homelessness. What happens is, uh, it is mine will grow to a certain point and it just stops. I just can't grow. It would a keep going. Why don't you just let it go? It doesn't. It goes to the point where it's like my goatee. Remember, I got my goatee to the point where it was like Amish, like yeah. homeless. It would not grow past well, that point. Well, you trim the dead ends and you it's let not, it go. That is an old wives' tale. It actually doesn't work. Some people literally will stop growing hair at a certain point. It's just the way it works. Because I mean, this this is this is only like six weeks. Jesus. That's it. Oh my god. Well, the week after James was born, I went clean shaven. Yeah. So good He's Lord. only two months old. This so, is like this is like four days. <laughs> yeah, I, I haven't trimmed this the whole time. I'm letting it go to see how homeless I can get. But okay, just giving up. That's one of his his uh, uh, sleeping beds. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can't see that. He loves to sleep on those things. So we have two of them in the house, and that's yeah. his bed. You should you should just let it go. See how far you get. I just I just it just makes you look dirty and homeless. It your, doesn't make me look like what? I like if I could look like you, I would do it. Just but I can't it do it. I can't do it. What is your boss gonna write you up or something like? What the no, the problem is if one of the guys goes to Linda HR, I'm in, I'm in trouble. If Linda gets, I'm in, if Linda gets, <laughs> I'm in trouble. Yeah. All right, this one's from <laughs> Robot uh, Leg Ko Leg Ko. Uh, favorite fast food meal. Favorite fast. Food. I miss the ciabatta burger. Ciabatta. That for the longest time that was my favorite fast food meal from Jack in the Box. Um, I'm trying to cut back. I don't eat as much fast food as I used to, but currently I like the two big fat tacos from Del Taco. Um, I would say probably like just a basic Big Mac meal is, is somewhere second. Man, that Tabanero uh, burger from McDonald's is awesome. It was too hot. Oh man, it was too much. Did you take all lettuce and stuff off it? Oh, of course. Yeah. yeah. Heal! <laughs> Hashtag heal. <laughs> Alright, and this one's from, uh, here it is, 110112. Uh, if you say like you can only do, you're about to die, and you're forced to do one of these two things. You, do, you cannot back out, you have to pick one. Would you do beef bile again, or would you eat some hemorrhoid cream? Beef bile. Yeah, I think so too. I think so at least beef bile, like... I know what I'm getting into. Exactly. I know it's a bad time, but I know it's not going to kill me. Like, yeah. I guess I'm going to die anyways, but yeah. probably, probably beef bile. And this one's from uh, No Clever Name Zero Zero. your favorite beer. Uh, Hangar 24. The orange wheat. Not the pale. The pale oil is disgusting. We gotta try, um, it's a new one that's out. Everybody keeps, it's like an apple crisp beer. That red apple ale or Something whatever? Something like that. Because I keep seeing commercials. That doesn't sound appealing. Yeah. Like, check, hang your 24 for more mainstream, maybe like Shock Top or Newcastle. Shock Top is delicious. Shock Top, Hangar 24 beats Shock Top. Though. Shock Top is good though. I like it better not out of a bottle. I like it when you go to an actual place and get it. That's when it's the best. Here's the thing though. Does Hangar 24 ship countrywide? I don't think so. Like, think they're, they're, they're in cool. Redlands. They're I a know. local brewery, so yeah. yeah. We went to the wedding yesterday and they had Hangar 24 on. Oh, oh there you oh, go. That was good. Yeah. That was good. Oh, yeah. You might as well get hammered. You don't know these people. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't <laughs> care. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Final three questions. Uh, this one is from Gash Plague. It's one of our good fans. Uh, will you ever redo the McDonald's 5 and 5? I thought about it, but probably not. I mean, he might have been talking about the beer 5 and 5. Would you redo that one? I put uh, McDonald's. Like, he said 5 and 5, but we filmed McDonald's after true. I asked that question. So did, I think it's the beer 5 it's and probably, 5. Well, no, because he could have gone back to the video and posted that, though. Yeah, that's true. Um, the beer one, I, I know I can't do it. Like, it's just, yeah. I don't have a huge stomach capacity like some of these guys. Like, I'll eat, yeah. like, a little bit, and I'm full. I have a big so, gut, but I don't have a big stomach. Yeah. <laughs> I can't do like, it I, I know I couldn't do it. Like, yeah. the McDonald's one, I feel like I could do, but, like, I don't like the feeling that I'm going to have a heart attack. 
afterwards, so I probably won't do that. And same with the beer one. I know I can't do it. I don't have the capacity. Uh, okay, and this one's from John Hill ninety one. Favorite music that you listen to? I'm not like passionate like some of the guys. Yeah, but are. you're like me though. I'm not passionate usually. I'll like, listen to anything. Pick something though. Like what are you currently listening to? I mean, I'll listen. I don't. I don't. I've never bought a single CD or song in my entire life. I only bought one. Do you know what it was? Uh, something. The, the guys that did RVD's song. You actually <clears> bought that? I did. The what's their name? Yeah, what was their name? I don't remember. That's how crappy uh, they were. What was it? No, you bought uh, you bought Blackstone Cherry, didn't you? No. You didn't buy that? No. Mm -hmm. The only reason I bought the RBD band CD is because uh, when I used to do the I music know the videos, name. yeah, the tip of my I used to do the W music videos, and I I wanted to, I was like, oh, it'll sound better if I buy it, and you rip the song. I'm like, no, it isn't. Use the no. internet. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah, I never do that. Already. No, but like I've never bought a song. I don't have an iPod. I don't have iTunes. Like. <laughs> I'm not a music person. I do have XM radio in my car, so I'll listen to anything on like Octane. I like All Nation. That's probably like a guilty pleasure thing because that's a lot popular. This is bugging me. I know. It's bugging me because I remember when Breaking. Th no. No. Oh, I'm thinking like Blink something. No. no I know it starts. With, it starts with a B. Yeah. Ah! I want to say it's like Breaking something. Breaking Point. Maybe. No, it's a pay-per-view. <laughs> no, it's a pay-per-view. <laughs> but I'm saying maybe it's the band. I feel like it starts with a B. Too. Too. Yeah. I'll, I'll basically, music, any kind, any kind of rock, I like alternative. Anything that's not country, rap, techno, dubstep, trance, any kind of that gimmicky bullshit. You love, like, you love worshipping Satan, too. Like yes. The satin Hell sheets. Satin. Sh they're sheets. They're great on the skin. Right. <laughs> we should have a cover soft. band of them. Oh, Goose. <laughs> Goose. <laughs> Goose. Goose CB. Satin sheets. <laughs> yeah. Anything but country, really. Oh, it's country, it country, country and rap. No. I could I could even tolerate rap over country. Like I could listen to rap yeah, any well, day over country. At least some rap. Like there's some like rap rock that I think is okay. But when you hear like rock country, I just I'm still just like no. I'm getting up and I'm cooking my meal and I'm working just, on my hot rod. And then yeah. any kind of like trance, like it was a dumb too. Yeah, I hate yeah. that dubstep. Dubstep was a stupid fad. I know there's so many people that like that on crap. Drugs to enjoy that. It's a stupid fad. I don't do enough drugs for it. All right. Are you ready for the final question? I tried to pick one of the greatest Is questions. It, why am I a bitch? No, no, okay. Okay. no. But you're close. <laughs> <laughs> this is from uh, one must. Mu oh, one mustard tiger. Okay. Uh, why are you so dumb? Why am I so dumb? That's a good question. <laughs> That's a good question. Considering I'm the only. Only one with a college degree in yeah. something that's not music. Hey, 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 hold on. Okay. Oh, okay. You said I music. I said not music. Okay, you said not. We have we have friends really? with the No, oh, we do have an artist. We have an animation major with us as well. You should be asking them that question. Oh, you're not talking about Lori either, because Lori has a pretty she decent has, one. Yeah. Has, I'm not talking about Lori. Okay. I'm saying She's the in the cast, though. Okay, there you go. I'm you need to be specific. Okay, we'll, specify. Guys. we'll specify. Now you've yes, all of us. I'm one of the few with a college degree in something that's not a worthless liberal arts major. So, I'm not done. Hmm. What is liberal arts? Is that what, is that what Music, Rebel does? Music, art, any of that kind of bullshit. Okay. Yeah, well, things that you can never really use. like Things that can't be employed. I say, I say something where, like, if there's a zombie apocalypse, you will have no use to anybody. No. Yeah, I, business. I don't, I don't have much use to anybody, No, business though. you would, though, because you can I mean, trick people into thinking you're important. I can trick people. Like, Lori, Lori would be important because we're going to need people to teach the next generation. No, we're not. Yes, Look we at the do. country we're in no, right no, now. No, 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 no. No one's teaching no, the no, current no, no, generation. No. We're, watching, we're watching the revolution, all right? That's the show where, like, all of the electricity goes out. So, like, I, everybody's I take that each other, and I never watch it. And there's... It, it's okay. I, I want to It's okay. It's okay. Concept is better than their execution. But it's starting to get a little darker, so I'm liking it. But what I'm saying is, in that like bleak society, they still have teachers and people teaching each no, other. No, I know. But I'm saying in our current society... I said zombie apocalypse. I didn't say current society. Our current society, I think our people would be smarter after a zombie apocalypse, because we wouldn't have TV and all that kind of shit. Like, I think I we know. would be smarter. I, know, I think only the dumbasses are the ones that are going to survive. Why? Because they'll all hoard together and eat the zombies. Yeah, but then they'll all turn on each other because they're two big douchebags. They'll be like, come at me, bro. And, and there'll be a few down. dumb people left. I don't like it at all. I don't like where this is going at all. I don't like where it's going either. But and I don't like these did questions. You see the, uh, did you see the Conan where they were asking him like the immigration uh, questions? He's like, I'm going to take a citizenship test here on the air. Yeah. And they asked him, they're like, what's the national language of the United States? And he's yeah. like, third grade English. <laughs> like, yeah, basically. Yeah. I heard that most people can't even pass that thing. Like they, they make it pretty tough. hard yeah. just on purpose. Like if I'm they, sure most of our country couldn't pass. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I most of our normal couldn't, I citizens couldn't, pass couldn't do it. it. 
Yeah, yeah I don't know any of that stuff. Right. Well, hey, there you go. Old Man Tyrant finally did Q&A about six months after we announced that he would. Hey, well, there was a firestorm in there with the McDonald's. There's so I was I was laying low till it blew over. They're still waiting on I'm, the miracle berries I'm, and the miracle fruit. That was like a year and a half, two years ago we the, said we'd do that. Is that the donut so, tree? No, you did the donut tree. We did the donut tree. What was the miracle fruit? That's uh, the little tablets that when you do them, anything that's citric, uh, citric like acid -y, will taste sweet. Who did that? Uh, we haven't. We said we would do it on a, oh. on a Q and A uh, weekly question, and we still haven't done it. Do you so. post weekly questions anymore? Yeah, but it's not as often because they suck. So it's like Andrew's weekly. Hey, it's become like, like semi-annual. It's like every it's like every two weeks. So that's still weekly. I didn't say how often. If it's monthly, then I then I'm wrong. Weekly kind of implies every week. I... Bi-weekly would be every time. What if I change it to weeklies? <laughs> Is that still? <laughs> that sounds like a Michael Jordan cereal. <laughs> what a bowl of weeklies. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so there you go. Uh, I'd say in probably about a month or two, I'm going to post another thing on Facebook asking who you want to see. Uh, do let's do <laughs> I thought Andrew was going to defeat you, by the way. I did too. I thought you'd kill you. Andrew oh. wasn't even second. Really? It was, was you, second? then Chris, uh, and I believe Andrew was really close with like, it was like Havoc or Chuck. Like the three of them were kind of in the center, but like so you, no more you and Chris were the top two. So Chris will probably win if Chris will probably gets in. So all right, well there you go. Definitely like us on Facebook down below. You can follow me at Mad Sign. We on Twitter and uh, what's my Twitter name? Old Man Tom Wee, I think. Yes, Old Man Tom Wee. There you go. You're Twitter. the only other you person. You can see that how often sets. I tweet. Yeah, the only person that had sense. Well, sets. someone stole Old Man Tom. Well, so. like Tetzel's the worst. It's like MMF Bearden yeah, ninety four. I tried to get I tried to get Old Man Tom. You'd be surprised how hard oh, it yeah. is to get. I tried Mad Zion too. Everything I've ever done, like Old Man Tom's always taken. It's like seriously. Really? Yeah, there's a bunch of old. Who wants, there's well, there's who an wants old to go by that. On Facebook, there's an Old Man Tom fan page. It's just some old guy, and he has like nineteen likes. I'm gonna and it's like just that. it's just him sitting on the couch going like I'm Old Man Tom. Yeah. <laughs> Can we use our power to get that taken down? Yeah, he probably had it before us. He's legitimately <laughs> old. <laughs> like, we're not. Yeah. All right, there you guys. Thank you for joining us for this Q&A, and we will see you tomorrow. Reckless eating! Reckless eating!